Alrighty, um, today's video is going to be propagating some prayer plants. So um, I'm only going to do 10. That's all she wanted me to do was 10 plants. So I'm going to fill these up like I did with the uh, arrowhead plants I did a month or so ago. I'm going to fill these pots up out of this soil and take them, put them on this flat and I'm going to take them in the house. And um, when we're in the house cutting them up, I'm not going to do them out here. It's like 20 degrees outside. It's nice in the greenhouse, but it's like only 20 out, outside temperature. So I'm not going to bring that plant down here and do it. So I'm going to take these up in the house, and I'll do those, and I'll also update you on the arrowhead plant that we did a month or so ago. Um, so we'll get an update on it as well. So this one here is just going to be basically propagation. Um, it's basically going to be the same, same as the last video I did on propagating. Basically... Yeah, the plants don't care how you do them. They just want they just want to grow. Plants, all plants want to grow. So that's what we're going to do is just propagate. So let me fill these up. I think I got ten here. Let me count and make sure. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I got ten. That's all. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm supposed to do is ten. And ten will make quite a flat pool, but that's enough. And when you're propagating, you don't necessarily need a big pot because you're, you don't necessarily need a big pot when you're propagating, um, because you ain't got no roots yet. So, especially with a prayer plant, you have no roots whatsoever. But um, it's actually you're only going to have, you're only going to have a stem in the soil about that deep, and it's it's pretty small. So I'll show you that when we get in the house. But for right now, that's all it is. You just fill these up. When you're filling these pots up, you ain't got to be neat about it either. Just fill them up. That plant's not going to know it ain't pretty. And nobody's going to really care a whole lot either as far as that goes. Because um, they'll not see these pots anyways. These pots here is just for propagating. Once we, once they start rooting up and whatnot, they'll be put in different pots to sell. So you can use anything for these old yogurt cups or whatever. I mean, it wouldn't have to be even pots. We just have a bunch of pots. So we use them. But you wouldn't have to use pots. You could use anything. You know, butter bowl or you could use a bucket. Do them all in a bucket if you wanted. It wouldn't matter a whole lot. Just so you do them. Plants want to grow, like I say. They, they want to grow. I filled them a little over full this time. Um, they'll settle when I water them in. I don't know. This water's pretty cold, so. that settle for a minute and do it again. And for now that'll work till I get Okay, so when you're propagating a prayer plant, which is this, we have another one that's all green. This thing here, I don't know if you can see it in that camera, but it's got red red veins in it. It's so pretty. Um, some of the leaves look, the older leaves are nice and green, but they're browning on the tips. Um, I'm not real sure why they do that. A lot of plants do that, but, um, so when you propagate them, all you need is just like in the airhead video, just trust the old scissors. Um, hopefully you can see this good enough that you see what I'm doing. All you gotta do is just cut it off. Don't worry about where at, at this point in time. Just cut it one leaf one leaf with the stem as far as the stem goes you should be able to just pull that right off I did these last year they worked out pretty good for me 
that right there, that, this right here is moist. You, you can feel the moisture in that. That's all you gotta do. And then just shove it down in. Um, so what you do is when you cut it, you just shove it down in. So then it'll, it'll get roots. It'll get roots off that little stem, so. Um, and it doesn't matter what size, what size of one you get. You can take any of them. You know, you can take, I prefer to use littler ones. That, that little one there, it's got a new one coming above it, so I'm gonna let it go. Um, this one right here will make a nice cutting. Right in there, right in there will be a nice cutting. Just, like I say, just pull that off. You don't need any rooting hormone or nothing. I mean, you can put rooting hormone on it if you want to, but you don't need them. You don't need it on these soft, tender houseplants. And just shove it in. And just do that for all 10. I don't know if I'll get, I should be able to get all 10 out of this. If not, we got a green one, like I said a minute ago. Um, but th this, this in here should work good. I should be able to get 10 out of this. One thing you gotta watch when you're bringing potting mix in from outside. It doesn't matter where you buy it at or anything else. A lot of times it'll have fungus net eggs in it. You gotta watch that. Um, but I'm not sure if this does or not. I don't know. Um, it comes, it comes. They'll, they'll, their eggs will lay dormant in there for years, literally. Um, so yeah, you just want to make sure they don't have. This, you just want to keep these moist. You don't want to keep them wet. <clears throat> After I get all these in, I'll give you an update on the... i got a prune nose, so... This one here's a pretty one. Look how pretty that leaf is. It's a little longer. It stems longer than I'd like it to be. Yeah, I think I'm going to let it long like that, though. That there don't have no, it don't have the outside husk on it like a lot of the other ones do. A lot of them is big like that. When they're big like this one is, you don't necessarily need all that on there, so you can just take part of it off. It's not gonna hurt anything. I'm gonna cut that a little shorter too. It'll lose more moisture out of it's big like that than if it's little. And two more. And that's in the same way, I'm just gonna trim a little bit off of it. So there's that, and I'll uh, just grab your trusty water bottle. We'll just a couple times a day for the first week or two, you're gonna want to do this. Just miss the leaves. It has no way to get moisture. It has no roots, so it's got to suck it through the leaves themselves until the roots start. You want to keep the soil moist, but you want to keep the leaves moist. Um, you could do them in water, probably. I don't know. I've never tried doing these in water. The stems are so short, I don't know. 
you probably could do them in water, but I know this way here works. So, um, so that's how we do these. I'm going to go get the prayer for the airheads that I did a couple weeks ago and give you an update on those. They All right, here's the airhead plants that we did a month or so ago. Um, most of them, for the most part, this here's new growth. It's all twisted up. It's pretty cool looking. For the most part, they all look pretty good. They're limp. Some of them need to prune back. Um, this is the whole this is the whole plant. I don't know. I would assume it's still going to be all right. There's some green down here on this, so I'm not going to pull it out. I'm just going to cut the dead off of it. I'm just going to go through and prune all the, all these off, and we'll put this in the compost. <clears throat> There's some new growth on several of them. These two here I'll cut clear off. I don't know. Hopefully they hopefully they survive, but time will tell, I guess. For the most part, they look pretty good. I'm not sure exactly what date it was. It's been about a month ago, probably. <clears throat> There looks all right. I'm just gonna cut it off because it's long and dangly. Listen, here's that one there's coming all the way too. So I don't know. We'll see. They did it last year too, but for the most part, they all came back. But these were bigger than last year's cuttings. I didn't cut them when they were this big. But I still think we're going to be fine with all of them. Once they start rooting good. be afraid you're gonna hurt it when you're pruning your plants it ain't gonna hurt nothing take off wherever you need to I'm gonna take this one here it's about the this new is probably the stiffest straightest looking one out of the bunch I wanna see if it's got a lot of roots on it in a month So, no, I don't think it's getting anything new on it yet. Maybe a little bit. There might be a little bit of root hairs over in here, but for the most part, I'd say they're still about the same as they was. So, 
that's an update on the arrowheads. Um, I'll update you again in about another three or four weeks. That's when we'll start our plants. So I think mm, February 5th is our first seed starting date. Um, that's going to be green onions for our garden. <clears throat> so um, that's an update on the arrowheads and starting of the prayer plant. So till we meet again, take care and God bless.